proved he was much more than that. Henry and his brothers grew up in Newmarket, where he was introduced to the world of racing. It was a world in which he harboured burning ambitions. Henry was not willing to go through life as an also-ran. He wanted to win. Cecil began training at 26, and by his early 30s, he had risen to the very top. Crowned leading trainer in 1976, he went on to mastermind the careers of so many celebrated champions of the turf. All the stars at Cecil's famous Warren Place stables benefited from his instinctive feel, his unique touch. Henry's army of followers would describe those talents in a single word, genius. As the 1980s and early 90s unfolded, he became an unrivaled icon of the sport. Royal Ascot was his natural realm, while ten champion trainer titles stand as proof of his enduring dominance. But at the turn of the millennium, he began to suffer a series of blows. Worst of all, the death of his identical twin David in 2000. As a result, Cecil's focus became blurred. The inner fire ceased to blaze. Unhappy and alone, he struggled to cope with solitude. And then in 2006, he too was diagnosed with cancer. But Henry refused to lie down in the face of adversity. And with the support of his third wife, Jane, he would fight and he would keep on fighting. Gloriously, the greatest chapter of his incredible story was still to play out. Despite his illness, Cecil was as hungry as ever, and soon the good times began to return once more. He was knighted in 2011. Sir Henry Cecil was back. At that time, he was training a horse named Frankel, who had emerged as a superstar under Cecil's expert tutelage. The colt was blessed with a magnificent stride and a sense of his own supremacy. He and Cecil proved a peerless combination, even after the trainer's cancer returned once more. Defiantly, Cecil declared, I want to be there for Frankel. And so he was. Through unforgettable times, Cecil proved as brave as Frankel was brilliant. They were an unbeatable partnership, with Frankel retired to stud unbeaten in a superb 14-race career. On June the 11th, 2013, less than a year after Frankel's last race, the master trainer and singular soul that was Henry Cecil died. Whether he was addressing lords and ladies in the parade ring or nicking a chip off a racegoer in the stands, Henry Cecil was a man of rare charm, a man who lifted the spirits of everyone he encountered. He lived an eventful life, a successful